Okay, did you hear the one about the circle? Yep, yep. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, that one gets around. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, did you hear about the circle who went to school for a really long time? Uh, yeah, he has 360 degrees! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh but honestly, um, I, I really don't like to joke about circles. There's really no point. <laughs> I'm here all day and the entire episode. Learn and create with shapes. And we have a great lineup of guests. Brody is illustrating in the Women's Lab. Grace is translating with Language Explorers. And Jim is forming a perfectly shaped theme song for us in Jim Time. This episode is shaping up to be anything but square on today's Women's World. So, what I need from you is a shape. Ready? My circle fish scrubs a circle dish. Circle, circle. Oh, okay, so just pick any shape and I'm gonna come up with a little rhyme to go along with it. So, what are your favorite shapes? We got, you know, we got the standard shapes, of course. Maybe you got a fancy one. I'll do my best. Okay, circle, I love it, ready? Uh, let's see, how about, I'm gonna change it up a little. I'm gonna say, a uh, circle moth scares a circle sloth. Circle, circle. What, what? Oh, trapezoid, <laughs> I love it. Yes, you got me going right on my toes, right from the top. Okay, so let's see, trapezoid, I'm gonna say, um, uh, trapezoid B draws a trapezoid tree. Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Did, where's that coming from? Square! I love it. Okay, let's do this. Let me think of an animal. I'm gonna do frog. Uh, square frog saws a square log. Square. Square. I'm just not quite sure. Ooh, heart! I love this! This is so fun. This is shaping up to be a great episode. <laughs> See what I did there? Shaping up to be a great episode. Okay, heart. Let's wrap up with heart. Okay, a, let's see. Um, I think I'll say, hmm, how about, let's go with goat. Okay, a heart goat toes a heart boat. Heart, heart. Friends, let's check in to see what Moby's got today. shapes in nature. I saw some circles outside today. The sun, dandelions, rocks, a bird nest. Hmm. I wonder what other shapes I could find. Hmm. Maybe triangles or stars. Hmm. I wonder what shapes you could find. Are there other circles that you've seen in nature? <laughs> shapes everywhere. Look around me. So out in nature, in here on my desk, I got, well, I got a circle on this um, plant vase here. The globe, that's round. That's a, a sphere when it's 3D, right? Oh man, 2D and 3D shapes. I got a square here. Rectangles. Man, okay, okay. And I got circles shapes on me. They're everywhere. Okay, let's see. Friends, it's time for today's three sentence story. And the three words come from you! Ha <laughs> ha, they do, they do. So, let's get rolling. In our first sentence, I'll set the scene. Share with me a noun, a person, place, or thing. In the second sentence, there is a problem. But friends, don't worry, because in the third sentence, there is a solution. <laughs> yeah, that was a dramatic way to sing the solution. Oh, dragon. Okay, we're off and rolling. The first word is dragon. Let's see. I'll go classic. Once upon a time, a dragon flew through the sky above the mountains. Yeah, I can picture it now. The mountains, 
the dragon. The dragon's flying high in the sky. Oh my! <laughs> I put a little rhymes in there. Okay, so in the second sentence, though, here comes the problem. What word will it be? Uh oh, oh, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! Baby is the problem. Okay. Here we go. Once upon a time, a dragon was flying high in the sky above the mountains. Looking far down into the valley, the dragon spied a baby in danger. <gasps> How do we have this baby? But wait a minute. Typically, the dragon is the villain in a story. But not this story, friends. In this story, the dragon is our hero. And the dragon has to go rescue the baby. Oh, ho, ho! the baby's in trouble. What do we do? How do we help the baby? Ooh, rock. Indeed. Okay, the dragon is going to save the day with a rock. Here we go. Once upon a time, a dragon was flying high in the sky above the mountains. The dragon looked down in the valley below and saw a baby who needed help. The dragon swiftly scooped down, scooped up a rock, scooped up the baby on that rock, and flew back up into the sky, landing the baby and the rock on... Where did it land? Hmm. I'm still working on that part. I like this though. It's like a little. It's like it's like the baby's on a little um, flying saucer, or like a. It's like a magic carpet ride, like in Aladdin, where they're like, woo, on the rock. Maybe this rock has special powers. I think we got more details to add to this. Yeah, maybe there's a nest somewhere. Ooh, is it a human baby? Is it a dragon baby? Is it an owl baby? Is it a squirrel baby? Oh, who knows what kind of baby? Well, we could decide. Brody in the women's lab could decide with how the women shows it. But yeah, maybe there's a nest. Something about that rock, I think, too. Friends, it's time to go to Brody in the Granville Women's Lab to see what he's got going for today's Wimage. Oh, I wonder, what kind of baby is it? Hi, Brody. Wimmy, so did you know that every square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle is a square? Wait, let me get this right. It, it sounds familiar, but every, what is a what? A square? Every square is a rectangle, Okay. but not every rectangle is a square. Oh, yeah, 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 because a square, it has to have four equal sides, and a rectangle could have four equal sides, but it's not required. But yeah. for a square, it is. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Isn't that fascinating? Mm-hmm. Look, oh. I have two different shapes. Wait, so I see, okay, I see one square. This one kind of looks like a boot. Oh, yeah. And this one's just a square. Yep, four equal sides, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, the, the one that looks like a boot, if you put that back up, spin it just a little bit left. Oh, uh, um, so we still see the shape. That was left, but now, okay, now spin it so that, like, see the, um, uh, rotate it. That's the word I'm looking for. Rotate it. No, no, wait, no, no, no. Uh, keep it so we, no, no, no. Oh, I, I'm not, I, I got to think of my word choice better. Spin it so that, you see where the boot is? Point at the white block. Yeah, put the white one and the red one on top. Oh, no, no, oh, man, I'm getting all mixed up with what I'm saying. Just rotate it, spin it. Right, what do you, what do you think, Grace? Oh, tilt. Tilt, yeah. that's the word. Put oh, it on the side on yeah. the top. Wait a minute, I'll turn my head upside down, then I'll get it. <laughs> Thanks, Grace. Okay, nope, nope, now keep t keep tilting it. Rotate, <laughs> rotate, uh, other way. Okay, now put it on your head, and then put it in your ear, and yeah, right there, that's, that's it, we got it. Okay, it looks like a heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I should have just said that. <laughs> Uh, words are funny, aren't they? Yeah, there it is. That's what I was thinking. Does, do you see it? Does it kind of look like a pointy heart? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to put it in your ear. I'm glad you didn't like really do that. You kind of, you, you were like, what? My ear. Okay. Okay. Let's see what you got for today's women's lab, Brody. Whoa. So there's two of you hiking on the mountain. Cool. 
with the dragon flying over the mountains with the rock and the baby. It's a human baby! Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. The picture tells us. And yeah, I love it. Okay, so we've got the uh, we got it all in there. Let's think of what else we could add. Friends, if you have any ideas to add something in the background, in the foreground, um, other characters on the mountain. Ooh, a taco! <laughs> Dragons love tacos. Ooh, and then we have a suggestion for fireball. Nice. Quack. Bang. Quack, quack. Quack. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what you got. Oh man, look at that! Look at that! Wow, that fireball looks amazing, and I love the duck. He's like he had a full belly of tacos, and he's back down the mountain. Mm. Awesome. Well, Brody, if you want to add anything else, we'll check in with you later to see some updates. Thanks, Brody. Friends, today we get to find out how to say today's words in Spanish for today's language explorers. Grace is here to join us. Hi, Grace. Hello. Hey, we got shapes today. Oh, and then in our yes. story, some fun words. What uh, what have you got for us today? Yes, I forgot how much I love shapes. One of the words that even reminds me of the shape when I saw Brody's um, women. I was like, oh yeah, you can do a shape of the of the dragon. It looks kind of kind of like a what is one of those triangles. Anyway. Yeah. My mind's giving me all these images because of shapes. Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you notice triangles are the basic shape yeah. of the wing, right? Yeah, exactly. I love yeah. that. Yeah, I did an origami dragon one yeah. time. That's why I was thinking of that. Oh, that yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. So, dragon in Spanish is dragon. You see that little tick mark above the O, everyone? Yeah. Dragon. Do you Dra want to say that with me? Yeah, ready? Here we go. Dragon. Dragon. <laughs> dragon. Dragon. Yeah, yeah. Have fun with that word today, friends. Just say dragon. 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 I love dra un dragon. Nice. Oh, baby! Yeah, I love these words today. They have all the accents. The accents nice. are so fun for me. I already have fun with talking in Spanish, but accents make it give you permission to have all the fun. It is so, cool. baby is. Bebe. Bebe. Oh, un bebe. <laughs> que lindo el bebe. <laughs> you almost kind of want to do this when you, you know, <laughs> say that word. Yeah. Bebe. Such a little bebe. A cute bebe. Ooh, how, how would you say baby dragon? Would it be dragon bebe? Or un, be un bebe dragon? Uh, un dragon bebe? Now I'm getting myself a little confused. I want to say bebe dragon. Oh, you're right, because I'm thinking of the adjective, but that's not an adjective for bebe, that they're both nouns, right? In yeah. Spanish, too, are yeah. they both nouns? Yeah. Yeah, so I got it mixed up then, right? Yeah. I was bebe. out in the sun too much today. I I, <laughs> I didn't think too quickly on that, but yeah, thanks for helping me, Winnie. We're a team. So, yes. <laughs> Un bebe dragon. Wow, that would be the cutest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> right? The cutest bebe dragon. And the last word we have in Spanish here for you today, everyone, is roca. La roca is um, rock. But you know how there's kind of different sizes of rocks? You know, friends, have you been on a, on a, on a walk on, in the park and you see kind of like bigger, bigger like rocks the size of your head almost or your, your hand? And then yeah. you see tiny little stones, and that's yeah. more of the la piedra. Like a pebble? Uh, more like a stone. Like, yeah, it stone. could be a pebble. It can okay. be something, you know, like a flint rock. You know, we have pataki, stones, all that kind of stuff. That would be more piedra. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, it's probably not used this too much, but I want to bring it in just in case if people had heard that word. Sometimes it's used interchangeably. But uh, mostly you want to say rock, roca. 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 I love it. Don't, I love it. Thank don't you. Don't come at me. Yeah. <laughs> don't come at anybody with the roca. Yeah, unless you yeah. want to play with it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. You could do you can play fun games like with rocks and counting and Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah hey, yeah. Real, real quick, do you have a favorite shape? <gasps> I was just thinking that. And I really do love circles. I do love circles so much because they never I like to color a lot, and so I love coloring the whole circle. 
or something you can divide it and color it well you can do that with other shapes too but a circle is so so happy to me yeah it reminds me of the, yeah the sun or the moon flowers yeah I love it's a it. great i hear you I hear you. I love it too. Thanks so much, Grace. <laughs> Thank you for me. Thanks, friends. See you another day. Bye bye. <laughs> shapes, shapes, shapes. Guess what, friends? It is time for gym time. Hi, friends. Hi, How's Jim. everybody doing today? <laughs> Good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. You, you got little shapes on your guitar. <laughs> I do. Actually, you know what? I have many, many shapes. Actually, here, I'm going to give you a clue to my song that I'm going to sing. All the shapes that I'm going to sing about in my song are on my guitar. Whoa. I have squares. Yep. I have a circle. I have yep. a lot of rectangles. Yep. And actually, my pick is kind of like a oh. triangle. Yeah. It's not exactly a triangle, but it's, pre it's pretty close. Yeah. So I'm going to sing about all those shapes. You have to guess before I end the verse what shape I'm singing about. But I just gave you all of them, so it's, it's a good clue. Yeah. Hi, Joe. You won't believe the shape I'm in. I just don't know where to begin. I've been spinning round and round, sometimes bouncing up and down. Blowing bubbles on the merry-go-round. You won't believe the circle. Did you know it was a circle? I didn't know it was a circle. And I'm in. It was a circle. Oh, circle! Yeah. You won't yeah. believe the shape I'm in. I'm feeling like I don't fit in. I've got the right angles. I keep things straight. Ooh. I like to box, but I'm a featherweight. You oh. won't believe I, the. I, I know. I know. I know. Yeah. What is it? Oh, wait. Actually, it could be one or two. Because it had right angles. Right. It is a square! Equal side square! Yeah! It's the square that I've been in. You won't believe the shape I'm in. Like all the teeth and the shark's grin. I have to share this piece of pie with only me, myself, and I. Our story always has three sides. You won't believe. I know, I know. Oh, Brody's got yeah. it too. Brody, what is it? What is it? It's the triangle that I've been in. You won't believe the shape I'm in. Two sides wide and two sides thin. I've got the right angles, but I'm no square. My four sides are two equal pairs. Hmm, what could it be? Oh, 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 oh. I know, I know, it's not yeah. a square. Ooh, Brody it's taught us about this. He said, not all, uh, what was it, not all square. Squares are rectangles. No, no, no. Not all rectangles are squares, but all. Yes. But all rectangles, rectangles rect are squares. Wait. Not all rectangles are squares, let's, let's but all squares Brody are in. rectangles. Did, did he get it right? Brody? All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. That's right. So there you go. Is, in the song, it's a rectangle, right? It's a rectangle. Yay! You won't believe the rectangle <laughs> that I'm in. You won't believe the shape that I've been in. Nice job, friends. Yeah. That was so fun. That was nice and blues. That was like a blues song, right? Yeah, it was very Blue. bluesy because, you know, bluesy. you just won't believe the shape I'm in. It's, yeah. you know, it just felt kind of bluesy. Hey, um, so, yeah, isn't that an awesome song? Hey, Brody had a, had a shape. Do you think you could write a verse about the shape he said? The What was it? Uh, I forget. I don't you, even think I could it? sing the shape that he said, let alone sing about it. What was the shape again? Uh, pentahedron? Yeah. Can yeah, you do pentahedron. You won't believe the shape I'm in. It's a pentahedron. Wait, no, you just, you gave it away, Jim. <laughs> oh, right. I'll have to keep working on it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, John. It's our friend John. Yeah. Shout outs to Brody. And, oh, Kylie's like in the song. I think she's, she, uh, do you vote? Do you think, Kylie, do you think we should keep working together on the, Pentra, I keep forgetting the word. Pentra. So many shapes. We can keep coming up with verses. More and more verses, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Good I stuff. see you at the dance party. Oh, no, Jim. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, friends, guess what? We've got a really cool mathematical moment. Do you remember when, um, oh, wait, hey. I love how John says that. Hey, with me. <laughs> I did that for you, John. 
Because you yeah. Um, okay. Um, oh, yeah. Um, remember when Moby was talking about looking for shapes in nature? Check out today's mathematical moment by McKenna and Mr. Blue. Well, hello, McKenna. How are you today? Good. What are you going to tell me about? Shapes. What do you know about shapes? Um, that there's different shapes. Oh, how are they different? Because they have different corners and edges. Like... Oh yeah, I see you made a straight line. That's how you make a triangle. Oh, oh, okay. How many sides did you use? Three. Three sides and three corners makes this triangle. Here's a square. Oh, what's the difference between a triangle and a square? Because a rec because a triangle has three sides and a square has four sides. Oh, what's special about the sides of a square? Because they're all straight. And, and equal, right? They're all equal? Yes. All right, do you think we could find some of these shapes out in nature? Yeah, but first let me color my square in. All right, we'll go find some and we'll be back. What, what did you just find, McKenna? A circle. Oh, I see the circle. There's a couple of them there. And I found a cylinder. Oh, the bird feeder is definitely a cylinder. Yeah. Look at these pretty flowers that I found. Oh, oh, what is the bud shape? A sphere. There's big ones and tiny ones. A bird's nest. What, what did you find and what shape is it, McKenna? A bird's nest and it is a circle. Oh, I wonder what other shapes we can find. I found a little, I found an oval. Oh, kind. oh, all those leaves are little ovals. And I even found a long cylinder of this brand. Oh, that's the longest cylinder I've ever seen. Yeah, with spikes. Yeah. You don't want to touch those spikes. It looks like each of those spikes is a cylinder, too. Yeah. Two cylinders on one cylinder. What? Well, see you next time at Math with my cat on Mr. Blue. Bye. Bye. Oh, man, I love it so much. Thank you so much, McKenna and Mr. Blue, for today's mathematical moment. Friends, just like McKenna and Mr. Blue did, look for shapes out in nature and see if you can find objects to build shapes with. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. Okay, we're going to go for the scavenger hunt, friends. Are you ready? We got to be fast, fast, fast. Find something shaped like a triangle, something shaped like a circle, and something shaped like a square. Go! Go, 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 go! Find it fast, find it fast. Something shaped like a triangle, something shaped like a circle, something shaped like a square. What could it be? What could it be? We found some things in nature. Hmm. Post in the comments what you find. Maybe you find a kite that happens to be shaped like a triangle. Maybe you find a box. Maybe you find a penny. Yeah. Ooh, this is a... Uh... Oh, Jim's got it. Let's I got found it. an album cover that's round, that's square, but then the album inside is round. Nice. So I, I round and a circle and a square together. Cir well, that sounds like a song. Circle and square. Circle, circle and square, square together. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Friends, what else do you find? Let us know what you got, Brody. Well, my iPad is a square. Yeah. The mountains are triangles and... Yeah. <laughs> I popped up. I was like, hey, look at me. And the sun is a circle. Oh, all kinds of shapes. All kinds of shapes. Nice update on the women. We're, uh, we're running tight on time. You can show us more in the dance party. Look for triangle shapes. Circle shapes. Square shapes. Ooh, draw a picture. 
put it in as many shapes as you can. Oh, a napkin! I'm gonna guess the napkin is a uh, square. You can fold it in half and it become a triangle. Oh, a ball! It's round, shaped like a circle. Oh, I like how mechanical it, McKenna was finding things that are 2D and 3D. The spheres, the cylinders, man, that's a whole other thing to go through all the details of 2D and 3D. Oh, a ball of yarn, that's round. A notebook, that's square. And the hands on the clock are in a triangle shape. <laughs> Great job, friends, finding it fast. Ooh, triangle cake. Oh, ho, ho. that sounds delicious. Triangle cake. Well, friends, we've had a lot of fun. I hope you've had fun. We're going to get rolling to our dance party. Brody's going to show us the update to his uh, his uh, women. Let's look real quick as we get ready to dance. Whoa, tacos. It's a, ta it's a taco buffet. Yeah. So I changed the mountains and I added taco buffet. Ah, ha, ha. I want to go up that mountain. <laughs> friends, let's get ready to dance. <laughs> Thanks, Brody. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Grace. Thanks, everybody, for helping us out. Singing, creating, looking for shapes. Oh, look at that robot shape guy. <laughs> Wimmy's Words is brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great, Fonterra by Smart, Meyer, and with additional support from these great partners.